welcome to today's lecture today we will be studying about the superficial peroneal nerve the superficial peroneal nerve is called as the musculocutaneous nerve of the leg it is the smaller terminal branch of the common peroneal nerve it is present in the lateral compartment of the leg so in this diagram what you can see this is the common peroneal nerve which is dividing into this is a deep peroneal nerve and this is the superficial peroneal nerve in this picture what you can see this is the tibia in the medial side this is the fibula in the lateral side this is the interosseous membrane connecting these two bones here you are having the anterior intermuscular septum this is the posterior intermuscular septum so here this was the anterior compartment now between the anterior intermuscular septum and posterior intermuscular septum this is the lateral compartment of the leg behind this this is the posterior compartment so you can see the superficial peroneal nerve which is lying in the lateral compartment then the muscles what is present here you can see this is the peroneus longus muscle and this is the peroneus brevis muscle now coming to the origin of the superficial peroneal nerve so it arises in the substance of the peroneus longus on the lateral side of the neck of fibula then it descends for a short distance between the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis and then lies in a groove between the peroneus brevis and the extensor digitorum longus then if you see the leg it has been divided as upper one third middle one third and lower one third so this is a lower one third portion at the junction of the upper two third and lower one third of the leg so the superficial peroneal nerve it pierces the deep fascia and then later it divides into medial and lateral branches which reach the dorsum of the foot now coming to the branches given by the superficial peroneal nerve that is the muscular branches it is giving to the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis muscles then these are the cutaneous branches so the cutaneous branches they supply the lower one third of the lateral side of the leg and the dorsum of the foot except the adjacent sides of the big as well as the second toe so here it has been supplied by the deep peroneal nerve also except the medial border of foot lateral border of foot and also the nail beds so this medial border of foot here you can see the saphenous nerve lateral border you can see the sural nerve then the nail beds which is supplied by the medial and lateral plantar nerves so excluding these places it supplies the dorsum of foot as well as the lower part of the lateral side of the leg now coming to the clinical importance if there is an injury to the superficial peroneal nerve it leads to loss of avertus of the foot that is the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis will be paralyzed so these are the muscles which play a role for the elevation of the foot apart from the aversion of the foot there is also sensory loss in the lower lateral aspect of the leg and also the dorsum of the foot thank you for